Well-known Burlington company is interested in buying the Caledonia County Airport. That company, Beta Technologies. Adam Sullivan is in the Northeast Kingdom getting reaction to the potential sale. According to state officials, the Caledonia County State Airport here in Lindenville is in need of millions of dollars in repairs. However, a potential sale to a private company has some local leaders looking up. It is an active airport and we really do need it. But in order for the state-run airport to become FAA compliant, it needs millions in upgrades to the property, most notably to the runway and taxiways. It's a 12 to $14 million project, according to Transportation Secretary Joe Flynn, who testified this week before the Senate Transportation Committee. We wish we'd had some level of um, improvements over the past 15 years or so. We understand there's been budget constraints. But that's where Beta Technologies comes into the fold. According to Flynn, the company's founder, Kyle Clark, expressed interest in buying the property. Beta is a Vermont-based electric aerospace company developing vertical takeoff and landing aircrafts. A privately owned facility obviously would be uh, something that would add to our grand list locally. A beta spokesperson told us, quote, to the extent that increasing investment in the Caledonia County State Airport could unlock economic development and workforce opportunities in the kingdom, Beta and Kyle would be interested in being part of that conversation. For those who live in Caledonia County, it could mean the difference between kids leaving or staying. They, uh, you know, graduate from high school, graduate from college, and leave quite often. A potential sale price has not been disclosed, nor a timeline for the deal. But if the state were to go it alone, Flynn says FAA funding for potential upgrades would not be on their priority list for several years. I would want it to remain open to the public, so tourists can come in and out, businesses can still use it, private pilots in the area can still use it, but it, it shows promise. Any potential sale of the property would first have to be approved by the General Assembly, and according to Flynn's testimony, if the state did not receive a, quote, reasonable offer, it would not be moving forward with a sale. Reporting from Lindenville, Adam Sullivan, Channel 3 News.